Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Brian here, I'm bringing you some Call of Booty Ghosts. Today I'm playing some Kill Confirmed and using the AK-12 with the silencer and grip because that seems to be the cool thing to do with this gun and <laughs> not uh, not hating on it, but uh, it's actually a good setup. I really like it because um, iron sights are pretty nice, low profile, easy to use, and the silencer keeps you hidden, keeps you sneaky, but uh, I don't really want to talk about the game in this. What I do want to talk about is a crazy story I heard about my friend and kind of what that crazy story got me thinking about. So uh, with the story, I won't go too much into detail because... Um, like, well, it, it was really funny, but you kind of have to know my friends and how they are to kind of think it's funny also. But I will just kind of paraphrase it and shorten it, and I'll just I'll just basically summarize the important points of the story. So, this story involves one of my friends from high school, who I'm still pretty close with. And he currently lives in L.A. right now, and he's been seeing this girl for about seven, seven or eight months now. So, pretty good chunk of time, you know, they're pretty serious. And I heard the story from another one of my friends, and I guess apparently uh, my friend that uh, the story is about, he went up to Lake Tahoe without his girlfriend with some of my other friends from high school. And one of those people he went with was his high school crush. And I mean, he, like, crush is an understatement. He was pining after this girl for like four years, and like, the whole time of high school, pretty much, he would always ask her to hang out. He'd do all this stuff to try and get her to, you know, like him, but she just never reciprocated any of the feelings. So, I guess, hmm, I guess it's been, it was maybe about like two years since they last hung out before they went up to uh, Tahoe together. And I guess some things changed and they ended up banging. So, um, yeah, crazy, just because, you know, this. Nothing against my friend, but this girl is kind of like out of his league, you know. She she was pretty banging herself, and I just the fact that they banged was it's crazy to me, you know. And so one so okay, my friend gets back from the trip, and I think about a week goes by, and then he tells his girlfriend that he just straight up cheated on her and banged his high school crush, and she just she just loses. I mean, I wasn't present for this, but she just loses it. So. The first thing she does is right after he tells her she goes behind his back calls up his parents and then the next time he goes up to visit his parents he takes his girlfriend with her he, he doesn't know this is all going down and they ended up having a sit down intervention with him like when his, his girlfriend called ahead and planned this with his parents and they had the sit down inter intervention and I'm like oh my god God, <laughs> that is insane. Like, I, I just wish I had an invisibility cloak from Harry Potter there so I could just sit in on this whole thing and just observe. But I was like, wow, she just went like, I can't believe she just went through all the trouble to do that. And so they had this intervention and his parents like get on his case. Same with his girlfriend. You know, there's like, oh, you shouldn't do that. Like, you shouldn't cheat on your girlfriend, like, which is good you know you no know, i don't think anyone should ever cheat on their significant other but so after that whole thing goes down then they're perfectly fine after that like they're t they're still together like nothing happened and i'm like what cuz personally i think you you can't once you cheat on your significant other or your significant other cheats on you i think it's done i don't think there's ever any coming back from that no matter what no matter who the person is no matter who you are I just don't think there's any coming back from that. And just the fact that they're together again, like nothing ever happened, is crazy to me. And it basically just shows, like, that my friend can, in this relationship, he can get away with anything, pretty much. And, like, nothing will happen. Which is ridiculous. And just that whole debacle just kind of, it amused me. Like, it, I just thought it was crazy, but it also amused me. And it also just kind of got me thinking, why do girls behave so irrationally like this and I know that's that question has been asked like thousands of times probably millions of times over the what like centuries you know and just why do they behave in such random ways that make no sense and I guess I kind of rethought of this whole situation and kind of put my friend I kind of put myself in my friend's shoes and then put him in his girlfriend's shoes and I kind of thought to myself like what would I do if I was either of them 
If I was my friend, I would not have gone through with it. I mean, it... I, I don't know. It, it's hard to say, you know, like, you say you wouldn't do something like that, but then you, like, if you get put in that situation, you actually get put in that situation, it's different, but personally, uh, yeah, I would say I wouldn't go through with it, and then if I did, I would, um, I would either A, break up with the girlfriend, or B, not, well, again, see, I would say, I would like to say, I would tell her, but then again, I don't know if I actually would. So, if I was my friend, I would not have gone through it. And if I was, I would, and if I did go through with it, I would try and tell her or just not tell her altogether and then just break up with her. And if I was his girlfriend, nothing against my friend, I would just leave his ass. Because, you, you know, like, like I said earlier, I don't, just, I just don't think you can come back from that. But, I don't know. It's just crazy. And... I'd say definitely the funniest part of the story is when they had that whole sit-down intervention. Like, I could just imagine the look on... Like, it's funny to me because I, like, I'm, I know my friends. Like, I've known them for a long time. But just, I'm, I'm picturing the look on his face right now when, like, they walked in... When he walked into his house and they're like, So-and-so, we need to have a talk. <laughs> like, but... Anyways. Yeah, so... What is the one thing you could probably take away from the story? I think that it is. There will always be bad bitches in your life. And those bad bitches will always cause fucking problems. Anyways, if you had any experiences with bad bitches and they've caused fucking problems, leave them in the comments. Let me know. And if you enjoyed this commentary, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Good job. Report to command for debrief.